experiment to prepare ethene and examine its properties. In this experiment, we will prepare a sample of ethene gas by dehydrating a substance called ethanol. That is, using a chemical reaction to remove the elements of water from ethanol. A white powder called aluminium oxide, Al2O3, is used in the reaction. This substance acts as a dehydrating agent and also as a catalyst for the reaction. Some ethanol was poured into a boiling tube to a depth of about 2-3 to three centimetres. Some glass wool was added to soak up the ethanol. The glass wool is used to hold the ethanol in place while the reaction to produce ethene is occurring. Using a retort stand, the boiling tube is clamped near its mouth and in a horizontal position as shown. Using a spatula, a heap of aluminium oxide is placed about halfway along the boiling tube. The apparatus to collect the ethene gas is set up as shown and the gas is collected over water. Light the Bunsen burner. Adjust it to give a blue flame and gently heat the aluminium oxide. As the aluminium oxide becomes hot, the heat reaches the ethanol at the end of the tube. The ethanol changes into a vapour, passes over the hot aluminium oxide and is dehydrated to form ethene. If the ethene is bubbling off too slowly, move the Bunsen burner near the ethanol for a brief moment. Allow the bubbles to escape for a short while as these are mainly bubbles of air displaced from the apparatus. Collect five test tubes of the gas. Put a stopper on each test tube as it is filled. When all the test tubes have been filled, loosen the boss head on the retort stand and raise the apparatus up so that the delivery tube is no longer dipping into the water. Then turn off the Bunsen burner. If the delivery tube were simply left in the water trough, a suck back of water would occur since the boiling tube begins to cool as soon as the Bunsen burner is turned off. 
the cold water could cause the hot boiling tube to crack. In the next part of this experiment, we will examine the properties of ethene. Note the physical properties of ethene. It is a colourless gas with a sweetish smell. The fact that the gas can be collected over water shows clearly that it is insoluble in water. Otherwise, the gas would simply dissolve in the water instead of bubbling through it. We now investigate what happens when we burn ethene. Remove the lid from one of the gas jars and use a lighted wax taper. Apply a light to the mouth of the gas jar. Note that the gas burns with a luminous flame. Allow the gas to burn. When it has stopped burning, add some lime water to the gas jar. Replace the lid and shake the gas jar a few times. The lime water turns milky, showing the carbon dioxide has been formed when ethene burns in air. Ethene burns to form carbon dioxide and water according to the equation shown on the screen. As a general rule, all organic compounds burn in air to form carbon dioxide and water. Addition of bromine. Alkenes are more reactive than alkanes because of the presence of the carbon-carbon double bond in alkenes. For example, bromine adds across the carbon-carbon double bond to form a colourless oily compound called 1,2-dibromomethane. A solution of bromine in water is commonly called bromine water. Let's see what happens if we add some bromine water to a test tube of ethene. Replace the stopper and shake the test tube a few times. Note that the yellow colour of the bromine water solution disappears. What happens here is that a new colourless compound called 2-bromoethanol is formed. The loss of the yellow colour from bromine is the standard test for unsaturation in a compound. In other words, this test shows us that there is either a carbon-carbon double bond or a carbon-carbon triple bond in the ethene molecule. Potassium permanganate, KMNO4, is also used to test for the presence of the carbon-carbon double bond in ethene. Add about one tenth of a test tube of dilute KMNO4 to a test tube of ethene. Shake the test tube a few times. The disappearance of the purple colour to give a colourless solution is evidence for the presence of a carbon-carbon double bond. This concludes the study of the properties of ethene.